Satnam and welcome. Today we're going to do part three of the series for connecting to your intuitive nature. And in preparing for this series, I looked up what does intuition actually mean? Because again, it's one of those words that we hear a lot, but we put our own interpretation onto what it might mean. And the official dictionary meaning of intuition is the ability to understand something instinctively without the need for conscious reasoning without the need for conscious reasoning. And that's really the most important part of that description for me. Because when we can understand something without the need for conscious reasoning, we know that it's coming from that pure, pure space, from the space of the soul. Intuition, we can think of almost as the bridge between the conscious and the subconscious mind. So the conscious mind is that which we are taught from our environment, from our caregivers, from the world that we live in. That's where the conscious mind comes from. It's the reasoning part of us. So we get information, we discern between that information, and we come to some kind of a decision about where we go with it. Whereas the subconscious mind plays the programs that we're not even aware of. The subconscious mind has got programs that are usually created before we turn seven. Um, and it's usually the ideas, thoughts, beliefs of our caregivers. And these programs play completely subliminally. So we don't even know what they are from a reasoning point of view. But then when we turn into intuition, intuition goes even below that programming. So the intuition is something that we instinctively connect to and we just know it to be right. And that's what we try and tap into with this practice. Mark Nepo says so beautifully, teachers arise from somewhere within me that is beyond me. The way the dark soil that is not the root holds the root and feeds the flower. And I just love that imagery, the way the dark soil that is not the root holds the root and feeds the flower. And if we think of our intuition in that way, as the teacher that holds us and feeds us, and we tap into that beautiful, beautiful source that's so deep within us. So let's get ready to tune in for today's practice. Sitting nice and straight, tuck your tailbone under, lightly engage your belly, lift your spine, and draw the crown of your head up towards the sky, the ceiling. Relax your shoulders, soften your face, relax your jaw. And take a lovely long deep breath in through your nose. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And bring your hands together. Rubbing the palms of your hands together and bring them to your heart center. And we'll inhale to begin. Om. Guru Namo Om Namo Guru Oh, 
ਸਤ ਗੁਰੇ ਨਮੇ ਜਗਤ ਗੁਰੇ ਨਮੇ ਸਤ ਗੁਰੇ ਨਮੇ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਦੇਵੇ ਨਮੇ ਸਤ ਗੁਰੇ ਨਮੇ ਜਗਤ ਗੁਰੇ ਨਮੇ ਸਤ ਗੁਰੇ ਨਮੇ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਦੇਵੇ ਨਮੇ ਸਤ ਗੁਰੇ ਨਮੇ ਜਗਤ ਗੁਰੇ ਨਮੇ ਸਤ ਗੁਰੇ ਨਮੇ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਦੇਵੇ ਨਮੇ ਦੀਪ ਬ੍ਰੇਕਿੰਗ and exhale release and let's start our warm up with spinal flexors inhale lift up exhale drop down beautiful moving from the base of the spine as we very gently begin to awaken the spine that's it inhaling up exhaling down beautiful feel the connection between breath and spine and the breath really is one of the simplest tools that we use in connecting to our intuitive nature our intuition demands that we are present if we are in the past or the future we're not connected to that instinctive self and so the easiest way to come to presence is through the breath come to center move to sufi grind massaging the internal organs connecting to the body connecting to the breath getting your breath into your own rhythm with your movement see what that feels like trust your body trust that it knows what you need and change direction beautiful if it feels safe close your eyes rolling them inwards and upwards towards the center of the forehead towards that ajna chakra and just holding your awareness at that point that represents your intuition the ajna and come to center drop your chin to your chest inhale as you roll your head back exhale across your chest and again as you do this movement today feel the connection to the third eye point notice what happens to the third eye point as we move the head in this way always using the body to connect change direction beautiful relax the shoulders soften the face soften the tongue feel what you're feeling remember that it's the body that's sending most of the signals body that's processing all the time and yet we just dismiss all of that and come back to center left hand to the mat bring your right arm up and reach over to the left with your right arm and change direction and just keep moving being very aware of keeping your shoulders in line with your hips so that your body isn't leaning forwards or backwards beautiful and just to feel the movement of your hands through your magnetic field and as you move notice how you can feel the air around your body if we look we can't see it and when we move slowly we can't feel it but as we move like this we feel this little wind that we are creating and we start to comprehend that there's something there even though we can't see it or taste it or smell it it's there all around us beautiful come back to center and open out your legs and this really inhale up exhale down this connection to feeling the air around us we know that it's there we trust that it's there 
And we have to start having the same relationship with our intuition. We can't see it. We can't smell it or taste it, but we know it's there. And every now and again, we do a movement. We can feel the wind that we're creating. We're like, ah, oh, yes, the air, it's there, it's real. And our intuition is the same. Every now and again, we follow that instinct, that knowing, without conscious reasoning. And we feel that connection. Ah, oh, yes, I do have an intuition. It does work. Beautiful, come to sense it, turn to the right, and exhale down. Deeply relaxing. And the more we use our intuition, the more we begin to trust it, the more we begin to use it. And the more we use it, the more we begin to trust it. And the more we trust it, the more we use it. And so it goes. Inhale up, turn to the left, exhale down. Soften and relax. Deeply relax. Breathing, using the exhale. And walking around to center, relaxing here at the center, softening your chest, your abdomen, relaxing your face, surrendering completely to gravity. There's something else we can't see, but we know it's there. And gently curling up. Bring your legs together. Inhale, reach up, exhale, stretch forwards. Inhale up and exhale down. Using the exhalation, that's it. Each exhalation taking you just a tiny bit closer towards your thighs. Inhale up, exhale down. Beautiful. Nice, strong breathing. Inhale, lengthen your spine and exhale, relax, soften and breathe. Using the exhalation to soften, to surrender. And see if your body wants to Move a little bit in this forward bend. Maybe there's a part of you that feels like shifting. Maybe it's big movements, or maybe it's just tiny micro movements. But just surrender to this movement. Trust your body, whatever it is. Maybe your head is moving, maybe your hips are moving, maybe it's your shoulders. Surrendering into it and then come back to center, relax a little bit more. See if you go a little bit deeper after that movement. Beautiful and very gently curling up. And just pause here for a moment. Feel what's happening in your body. Feel that connection. And when you're ready, lying down on your back. So we're going to start today with single leg raises. So hands are either alongside your body, legs are straight and relaxed on the mat. Inhale up, exhale down. Making sure that your belly is nice and strong, lower back pressed into the mat. And maybe you want to have your hands underneath your buttocks to support your back. That's absolutely fine. And let's go. Single leg raises, bringing the leg up to 90 degrees. Make sure the belly is strongly engaged. 
Make sure you're active all the way through to the top of the feet, flexing the toes. And then as your legs, your abdomen, your lower back are engaged, consciously shift your awareness to the rest of your body. See that your shoulders are relaxed, that there's no tension in your neck or your face. Feel the heaviness of your eyes, inhaling up, exhaling down. And move as quickly or as slowly as you need to. Beautiful. Staying conscious and aware. And now we're going to move to double leg raises. So bring your hands underneath your buttocks if you need to. Inhale both legs up and exhale down. And if this causes pain in the lower back, continue with your single leg raises. But wherever you are, make sure that your lower back is supported and that there's no pain. Listening to your body, inhaling up and exhaling down. Beautiful. Very nice. Remember from part one, when we work with intuition, we work strongly into the gut. That gut feeling, that knowing without knowing, when we listen to what's happening in the body. And so much of what we feel is communicated through the guts. Very often, somebody that experiences anxiety would experience their anxiety in the gut area. Butterflies in the gut, discomforts, nausea, all held in the gut. The gut telling you, I'm not happy with the situation. Beautiful. And of course, very often what we do with that is we feel that discomfort and instead of allowing ourselves to be present in it, we minimize it in so many ways. Beautiful and release, bring your legs down. You can either keep your knees bent or come to Shavasana, see what feels right for you. Take a lovely, long, deep inhalation. Squeeze more bund, lift the pelvic floor, the anal muscles, hold the breath in. And visualize the breath as a beautiful, healing white light. And just imagine that breath as it circulates through your body. Sending that healing white light to every single cell. Take more breath in, hold it. And even when it feels like you want to release the breath, keep holding it. And release. Come to stillness. Feel what you're feeling. Experience being in your body. fully and deeply connected to that instinctual knowing. Beautiful. They can straighten out your legs again. Take the arms above your head. And the movement now is left leg, right arm, lower, right leg, left arm, and lower. Again, be very, very conscious of your lower back. Make sure your belly is strong, lower back pressed into the mat. Move as quickly as you can, but whilst maintaining the full integrity of the movement. So we don't sacrifice the integrity of the movement for speed. And let's begin. Opposite hand. <laughs> well, now I've got my coordination on. There we go. Arms are above the head. Opposite hand to foot. That's it. 
and see what feels right for your breath. We're not specifying the breath. We're just allowing ourselves to be intuitively guided with the breath. So see what your breath naturally does. What is the natural rhythm, the intuitive rhythm of your breath? Beautiful. And just keep moving at your own rhythm, at your own pace. That's it. Beautiful. Inhaling up, exhaling down, all the other way around. Just see what your body needs. Maybe you slow the breath right down and you inhale on the left and exhale on the right. Just really trust that your body knows exactly what it needs. Beautiful. Keep going. Very nice. You're doing really well. Stay with it. And see when you bring your leg down that it's really with control. So you're hardly hearing any sound at all. That the movement is controlled from the top all the way down to the bottom. Beautiful. 10 more seconds. And release. And again, come to Shavasana or with your knees bent, whatever feels right. Take a lovely long deep inhalation. Squeeze more band by lifting the pelvic floor and the anal muscles. Hold your breath in. Circulate the energy, that beautiful healing white light. Feel it moving to every single cell in your body. Take more breath in, hold it. And exhale, release. Come into stillness. Feel what you're feeling. Feel the polarity of the stillness after the movement. Feel that connection to the part of you that knows without knowing. To that part of you that instinctually knows without conscious reasoning. Beautiful. The next exercise, you may want to bring your hands underneath your lower back, or you can keep them alongside your buttocks. We're going to start with the legs at 90 degrees. And the movement is to scissor the legs down to about 30 degrees. Really important to keep that fairly engaged in the lower back, pressed into the mat, and let's go. Now, as we do this movement, we're of course Working with the abdominal area, strengthening the abdomen, feeling the connection to the gut, but we're also in our magnetic field. And the magnetic field is part of the intuition. It's the part of you that reads energy. And we know that energy doesn't lie. So it's really important the magnetic field supported, that it's strong, beautiful. Keep the belly strong, keep the movement going, find your rhythm, your own beautiful rhythm. You're doing really well, keep going. That's it. Maybe you want to speed up, maybe you want to slow down. Trust that your body knows what it needs. And we've got just 10 more seconds. Oh, 
and come to center and hold here. Keep your legs at 90 degrees. Take a lovely long deep inhalation. Squeeze more bun, lift the pelvic floor, the anal muscles. Keep the breath in. You may find that your legs start to tremor here, just allow it. Tremoring is the body's natural way of releasing any stored trauma in the body. And release your breath. And we're gonna go straight into the next movement, taking the legs apart and crossing over. That's it, beautiful. Back and forth. Now again, this is a nice controlled movement, keeping the belly nice and strong. We're still working with the magnetic field. If you can, close your eyes and focus on that point between the eyebrows. Beautiful. Very, very nice. Keep going. Again, see what happens to your breath. What rhythm you get your breath into. Completely hypnotized by the movement. Deeply going into that space of awareness. And come to center, legs at 90 degrees, deep breath in. Squeeze more bend, lift the pelvic floor, lift the anal muscles, hold the breath. Take more breath in. And exhale, release. Come to Shavasana. Or with your legs bent, whatever feels most comfortable for you in this moment. Soften into it. And remember, this is where the yoga happens. The stillness and silence. And in this space of stillness, listen for the whisper of your soul. For the voice without words. For what we know without conscious reasoning. Beautiful. Remaining on your back. Again, if you need to, bring in your hands underneath your buttocks. We're going to have the knees bent in towards the chest now, and we're going to vigorously kick the buttocks with the heels. Now, this is a really fast, really powerful movement. And the purpose of this movement is to dislodge any stagnant energy, any stagnant thoughts, beliefs, whatever we're holding on to. This fast, powerful movement is going to help to dislodge. And let's go. That's it. Beautiful. Really, really fast, vigorous movement, kicking the buttocks, thinking about what you've been holding on to and maybe what needs to be released. Just giving it this time and space for exactly that. Beautiful. Kicking really powerfully. See if you can go a little bit faster. Beautiful. And release. Let go. Come to Shavasana. Taking your feet, mat distance apart, palms face up, eyes closed. Feel what you're feeling. Deeply connected to all that is, to all that was and to all that will ever be. Good. 
Good, and then hands at your sides. Now for this next movement, we're going to bring the legs together, hands remain at your sides, and it's a very simple movement. Flex the feet, lifting them up, and point the toes, stretching them down. Now it's a very deliberate movement. It's a stretch all the way into it and a point all the way out, stretch and flex. And then I want you to do this really, really quickly. It seems simple, so just stay with that thought and move as quickly and powerfully as you can, flexing and pointing. Head relaxed on the mat. In fact, the whole body is completely relaxed, except for this pointing and flexing in the toes. See if you can relax your belly. And if you're pointing and flexing powerfully enough, you should be able to feel it in your temples, a very subtle feeling in your temples. And this movement of pointing and flexing is actually a movement for communication. Communicating with self, always first with self, and then with others. We have to learn to open this chain of communication and self in order to have an authentic chain of communication with others. When we can't hear, understand, feel what we're thinking ourselves, and we're not communicating with the self, how can we possibly communicate with others? You're doing really well. Keep going. Start to notice what's happening in your body. Such a simple exercise, but so powerful. Keep at it. Pointing and flexing. <laughs> it always fascinates me how these simple movements can really just be the most challenging. I just acknowledge it if it's hard for you, if it feels challenging for you today, just acknowledge that, wow, this is difficult for me today. But here I am still going for the last 10 seconds. Maybe see if you can go a little bit faster. That's it, beautiful. Oh, and release, feet mat distance apart, palms face up, eyes closed, wow. It's simple movement, and we can feel it all the way up to the top of our head. Notice that subtle movement of energy from the feet as it moves up the legs, up the body now. Feel that movement. Connect to those subtle refined movements in the stillness. Breathe into it and be present to it. Wow. Feel everything. Explore the sensations in your body. Beautiful. And we're going to remain on our backs. So for the next exercise, we're going to come to stretch pose. So remember with stretch pose, we've got some variations. The full expression of the posture is legs straight, arms above the thighs, head looking down towards the toes, and lift the legs off the mat. Now we do this with breath of fire. So breath of fire, we inhale, belly expands, and exhale as if we're being punched in the belly through the nose. So when we're in stretch pose, it can be very tempting to just blow the air in and out of our noses like this, and the belly hardly moves at all. You wanna actually feel the belly pumping when you're in the posture. If it's too strong on your lower back to have your hands above your thighs, you can bring your hands underneath your buttocks. This is the way that I do it. And then looking down towards your toes, with breath of fire, making sure there's the movement of the belly. So it will look like this. And if you can't feel that movement of your belly, know that you need to adjust your breath so that it's stronger and more powerful. And let's go. Hands underneath your buttocks, looking down towards your toes.
strong, powerful breathing. Make sure you can feel the belly moving. If your hands are above your thighs, you want to feel this movement of the belly through your mat. Keep going, find a way if you need to rest for a moment, do so, and then come back into the movement. And release, come to Shavasana. Feel what you're feeling. Relaxing fully and completely. Softening the belly. softening the chest. And coming to your space of awareness. Using your breath. Take all of your awareness to the point between your eyebrows. And hold all of your energy at that point of intuition. Teachers arise from somewhere within me that is beyond me. The way the dark soil that is not the root holds the root and feeds the flower. Trusting your intuitive nature. Honoring your sacred self. Trusting the voice without words. Honoring the part of you that knows without knowing. And it is now in times of challenge that we need to hear this voice louder than ever. We are in the Aquarian age and the Aquarian age is a time of vast knowledge, vast information, and little wisdom. And in order to find that wisdom amongst the knowledge and the information, we have to learn to connect to that intuitive self. It's that part of us that sees beyond. It is that part of us that discerns, that trusts. And in this space of silence, Go to your voice, hear the whisper of your soul. And when you're ready, very gently opening your eyes, hug your knees to your chest, rocking from side to side, and then rock all the way up and down on your spine a few times. And then rock all the way up and come to the squatting position. So there's no ways we could end the week without some of our most favorite frogs. And today is no exception. We're going to inhale. So we're on the toes, heels are off the mat. 
and heels remain off the mats the whole way through this movement. Inhale as you straighten your legs, drop your head down and exhale, bend your knees, looking up. Now go at your own pace. We're going to be timing, not counting. So go as quickly or slowly as feels right for you. And let's go. Inhale up, straighten the legs and exhale down. Now as we work with the intuition and we associate the intuition with the third eye, that point between the eyebrows, it's a really lovely movement to feel that movement in the head, in the forehead. Beautiful. Inhale up, exhale down. Moving with intention, moving with purpose. That's it. Keep going. Beautiful. You can start to feel the heat building up in your body. The legs are already a little bit tired from all the work we've been doing, but just find a way. Just keep moving. That's it. Beautiful. Inhale up. Exhale down. Very, very nice. Keep going. Find a way. We're nearly there. Just 10 more seconds. See how many more you can do in the last 10 seconds. And come down. Take a deep breath in, squeeze more band, lift the pelvic floor, lift the anal muscles, hold your breath and visualize the breath as a beautiful healing white light. Hold it. Take more breath in, keep it there. And exhale, release. Coming down onto your belly. Lying on your belly. Bring your big toes together so that your heels flop out to the sides. Make a pillow with your hands and rest your forehead on your mat. And just hold here. Breathing with awareness. Feel what you're feeling. Let your entire body relax and soften. Coming to awareness. And then bringing your awareness back. We're going to come into Bhujangasana, Cobra Pose. So now there are a few variations. Elbows are tucked in, hands underneath the shoulders. Straighten the elbows. Make sure your shoulders aren't collapsing. Okay, that's the first option. Second option is take your hands to the corner of your mat and come up here. Or come onto your elbows. Now it's really important that you don't force yourself into the most advanced version of this posture at the risk of your form. So if your hands are underneath your shoulders and your elbows are straight, but you're all scrunched up, if you think of your spine again as a hose pipe and you're scrunching up, head dropping down, you're not allowing that flow of energy. And it's really the flow of energy that's so important. So even if you're here on your elbows, be aware of keeping that flow of energy with the neck in line with the spine, not down and not scrunched backwards. So find your ideal position. We're going to do breath of fire again, but this time we're going to do breath of fire through an open mouth and we're going to puff the cheeks <laughs> as we do it. So it feels a little bit funny, but it'll look something like this. <laughs> So we're pursing the lips, puffing the cheeks, and this is stimulating the vagal nerve. So the most important part of this practice is the breath. 
make sure that wherever you are in your cobra pose is completely comfortable and allowing for the flow of energy in your spine and let's begin <sighs> It can feel a little bit strange, but just keep going with the breath. Make sure your shoulders aren't collapsing. Keep your shoulders nicely supported and your breath really nice and strong. <sighs> Deep breath in, bring your hands underneath your shoulders, exhale, push up, push back onto your heels, stretch your hands forwards, relax your chest, relax your head, and soften. Relax here, surrendering completely, surrendering into the space of knowing without reasoning. By passing the conscious and accessing deep below the subconscious, accessing the dark soil that is not the root, but holds the root and feeds the flower. And very gently curling up and come to a comfortable cross-legged posture. We're going to finish with the same breath meditation that we did in part one and part two. So bring your hands together interlink your hands extending your index fingers pointing upwards bring your index fingers in line with your nose but about a hand distance away from your nose relax your shoulders relax your arms eyes gazing at the tips of your fingers so slightly closed just tiny slits that are open as they gaze towards those fingers and the breath is four inhalations through the pursed mouth and one strong exhalation out through the nose. So it will look like this. So the blowing out of the nose, the exhalation is a strong, powerful blow through the nose and it's four powerful inhalations through the mouth. And let's begin. Continue with your own strong breath. And the breath should be so strong that you can feel the pull at the center of the forehead. So just keeping that breath strong and powerful, beautiful, breathing powerfully through the mouth, exhaling powerfully through the nose. This is the breath for connecting to your intuition. And you can feel that pull at the center of the forehead using the breath to come to here and now completely present nothing from the past nothing from the future just this moment beautiful keep going strong inhales strong exhale powerful breathing Connecting to that part of you that knows. To that part of you that is without doubt. To the part of you that bypasses all that you have learned from outside of yourself and accesses all that you know within yourself. 
when we start to live from the space, we start to recognize that we are one with everything. We are one with all of creation, with all of humanity, with all of existence. Four powerful strokes through the mouth, one long, powerful breath through the nose. And complete the cycle that you're on. Take a long deep breath in as you stretch your arms out to the side, palms are facing upwards. And hold your breath as you stretch your hands away from each other and you draw the crown of your head up towards the ceiling. Keep the breath in, pull the hands apart, lift the crown up. Feel as if you're being pulled up to the ceiling, hands being stretched apart. And exhale, hold the posture, soften. And again, inhale, hold the breath, pull the hands apart, reach up from the crown. Keep the breath in, keep stretching the fingers away, keep reaching the crown up from the base of the spine. And exhale, soften, hold the posture. Last time, deep breath in. Hold, stretch apart, reach up. Lifting up, stretching apart, hold, 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 keep it there. And exhale, release. And just take a moment here. Take a moment to feel, to be present. And when you're ready, lying down on your back in Shavasana. Whatever posture feels most comfortable for you, maybe on your side, maybe in the fetal position. But so that you feel you're most relaxed. And give yourself permission to relax fully and completely. Knowing that it is here, in the space of deep relaxation, that you are here. I relax my feet. I relax my feet. My feet are relaxed. I relax my calves and thighs. I relax my calves and thighs. My calves and thighs. are relaxed. I relax my hips and buttocks, abdomen and chest. I relax my hips and buttocks, abdomen and chest. My hips and buttocks, abdomen and chest are relaxed. I relax my face, eyes, nose, 
mouth and tongue. My face is relaxed. My entire body is completely relaxed. Filled with peace. And in the space of deep peace and relaxation, I hear the gentle whisper of the voice without words. I connect so deeply to that within me which is all known and all seeing. And I feel so strongly I am not this body. I am not these thoughts. I am the soul within, pure, magical, and mystical. part of all creation, connected always to all that is. And there is peace within me. Peace around me, peace in all the world, Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Can start to bring your awareness to the rise and fall of your chest. Very gently rubbing your thumb across your fingertips as you move your toes. And taking your arms above your head, having a lovely stretch. You can hug your knees to your chest. And drop your knees to the right as you look over your left shoulder. And change sides. Come back to center, rub the soles of your feet and the palms of your hands together. And rocking all the way up, coming to Sukhasana, to easy pose. Bring your hands together. May the long time sun shine upon you. All love surround you and the pure light within you guide your way on. Start now. Sat Nam Sat Nam Sat Nam Sat Nam Have a beautiful day.